What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Hidden Heights Farm. So in the last video you guys seen, we got a few new creatures here on the farm. We got a couple of mini donkeys. Coco and Edit are their names. And uh, when we left off the video, Cora and uh, Leesky wasn't quite sure about them. Um, you guys seen Cora was kind of growling and barking and stuff and I'd tell him no. Leesky would kind of put his hand on her nose and say, hey Cora, Dad said stop, and they both kind of stopped. But uh, we stayed up pretty much all night, back and forth, checking on the donkeys, and that's what we're going to give you guys a report, just how they did overnight. We've had them for two nights now. This is the third day, and uh, yeah, we'll give you guys a little bit of an update on how they're doing on the farm, and we'll go visit with them, and then see what else trouble we can't get into. I'm over here uh, waiting on Rachel. Like always, waiting on my wife here. Hey, <laughs> I've got lots of things going on, and sometimes you just have to wait on my stuff. Yeah, I hear you. Mr. Smeagol's sitting there staring at your boots. Well, he was trying to claw at them. Yeah. <laughs> he likes his little chickens on there. Look at that. So those are some fancy high C boots, and I've got a pair on as well. So it is officially fall time now. Leaves are falling. Start doing farm chores in the fall, like getting straw and putting in the barn and all that type of stuff. So the other types of shoes don't work out real well or you end up ruining them. But with these high C boots, these things will keep your feet 100% dry and warm and you don't have to worry about ruining them. And uh, they're very comfortable. So. And yours has little chickens on there and look cool. These are my favorites. I love favorites. the little chicks, they're so cute. And they're super comfortable. They're easy to get on and off. They're stretchy. I love them. Anyway, 100% uh, guarantee on warmth and dry and a 100 year warranty. You cannot beat that for the price of these yeah, boots. Yeah, that's unheard of. So, like I said, how did the donkeys do? We're gonna find out. We're gonna go grab some treats. It's actually, it's Nancy. actually dinner time for the animals. Nancy's stunning. I see that. Nancy? that sun feel good? She disturbed her. <laughs> got too close. Her, 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 yeah, baby. I hear you. <laughs> All these chickens right here, their name is Nancy. All three of them. Look at them. Well, I think there's more than three. You know why their name's Nancy? No, I just named one of them Nancy and I thought I can't tell which one is which. That's so. exactly why they're all three Nancy because you can't tell them apart. Yeah. <laughs> they all three are barred rocks and they look exactly identical. So they're all Nancy. Works for me. All right guys, so we get a lot of questions about the boots we wear here on the farm. These are high C boots. See the logo right there. And one of my favorite thing about these boots are is how easy they are to get on and off. You know, when you, when you live on a farm and you have a farm with a bunch of animals, you gotta be ready to go at any moment's notice, especially when the dogs are going crazy. So it's important to be, to have a set of boots or some type of shoes available that you can just throw on, head outside. And then when you're going back in, in and out, you don't want to wear the dirty boots walking around in the barns with all the animals and stuff in the house. So they're easy just to slide off at the back door. So one thing I really love about these rubber hunting boots is I can wear them on the farm and I can wear them hunting with this nice camo pattern. And these are adjustable. So sometimes you get boots that are a little too tight or too loose. These here, you can tighten them right up and you're ready to go. So I've had a lot of different types of rubber hunting and work boots in my time. And let me tell you, the high C ones, I can wear them all day and they do not hurt my feet. I've had several that you could wear for a couple hours and I'm wanting to take them off. These are very, very comfortable and they're even better being adjustable. So if any of you guys are interested in any of the high C products, we actually have a product code discount for 15% off HHF15. Go to the link down in the description below. Go to their website, check out all their products. You can get some nice camo hunting adjustable boots like this to keep your feet nice and warm or you can get some fancy uh, chicken boots just like Rachel has. So make sure to check out the link in the description and uh, we're getting stalked by all these chickens. Look at this. So I'm gonna show you, actually, let me grab some food. We're gonna go feed the donkeys before we feed everybody else. Okay, I got some donkey food and I got some treats. So like you guys know, we are new to these donkeys or donkeys are new to the farm actually. And uh, one, Listen. look, she's talking to us. She sees the feed bucket. Coco, get up. 
We're coming, girls. So we're trying to imprint with these donkeys. We plan on keeping these donkeys for a long time. We want them to be friendly. We want them to be tame. Uh, we got online last night and we actually ordered some uh, halters for them so we can start halter training them and hopefully lead them with a lead rope. Baby steps, one step at a time, right? Yeah, I agree. Hey girls, what's going on for the girls? You I got Edda your trained. Dinner? Come here, Edda. Look at here, girl. She thinks I have the treats. Coco, you want a treat? Rachel's already been out to see them this morning. We done had our snuggle time. There you go, pretty girl. So Edda loves the treats. She oh, she's like, I smell that food, Dad. She likes Look the treats. That. She's not shy about it. Coco likes them, but she's a little more shy. About the treats, but overall, treats. Edda's a little more shy personality. Unless you got treats. All right, pretty girl? Yeah, you're a sweet girl. These girls are starving, aren't you? They're not starving. <laughs> so one thing about these donkeys is they go everywhere. They've been everywhere all day long. They just go around grazing on all this grass here. You ready to go eat? Let's go get your bowl. Let's go fill your bowl up. Come on. Come on. Come on. They haven't played with the balls yet. Coco, what you doing? You waiting to see if I have treats? I don't have any. Come on, Coco. Come on. Come get your food. Come here, girl. Uh-oh. The chickens are watching. Yeah, I see that. Cora is wagging her tail over there. Yeah. So, that's what we got to talk about. How did the first night go? So, I'll get over here by the donkey. People don't want to see me. They want to see these cute donkeys. They want to see these donkeys eat. There's Miss Coco. So the first night, guys, in the first video, if you watched it, um, it was the very last video we posted, the day we brought the two girls home, Cora and Leesky were going crazy. They knew these were different animals on the farm and they were out here near the goats. Um, I don't remember if I caught any footage of uh, Cora. Did I say Daisy a while ago? I don't know. Cora and Leesky. Anyways, I caught some footage of, uh, I think I did, of Cora barking and chasing the goats off because the goats are interested too. They were actually coming to the fence wanting to see the donkeys and Cora said, get back goats. Me and, me and Cora, me and Leesky's trying to make sure these are not a threat, but they're not gonna eat you. So uh, she was doing a very good job, but all night long, every once in a while, the donkeys were curious about the dogs and the goats. So they'd go to the fence and Cora was growling and barking all night long at these goat, at the donkeys. So. I was constantly coming outside with the flashlight and telling Cora no. Now by this time, Leesky's pretty much already learned that, hey, these donkeys are good. They've been with, with our owners, our parents, whatever. They're not going to harm anything. And I got a, someone sneaking up behind me here. He's wanting to get us. But, so snack. basically, to get to the point, the dogs did absolutely what they're supposed to do. They didn't try to get in the pen and get to the donkeys once we worked with them and said, hey, these donkeys belong here now. They're part of the farm. And now, even last night, you know, I watched them all day yesterday. But last night, and nighttime is where I kind of worry because the dogs really go on the protection mode. And uh, I heard a few barkings, but it, they were barking at coyotes and stuff off in the distance. And the cool thing about it was, right before I went to bed, I shined my light out here. All the goats was laying right around this fence, right next to the fence, right here behind the shed. Right there. The dogs were right between them, and these two donkeys was laying right on this on this side of the fence. So it's like they've already kind of bonded, but we're still going to keep them separated. I got Mr. Smeagles trying to sneak up here. He's being shy. But anyways, the donkeys are working out great. Um, everybody loves them that has come to see them so far. I love them. Rachel loves them. They're, uh, I think they're a great asset, or well, not asset, what, what's the word I'm thinking of? They're a great addition. addition. Great addition to the farm. The kids loved them. They, uh, they're sweethearts, I know that. They don't, they don't move real fast. They're, uh, just real easy being calm. And, uh, just like, I don't know if I got it on video or not, whenever we walked outside out the back door a while ago and put our boots on, they started doing the brain or whatever that's called. She, Coco was actually started talking to us. She's like, hey dad, 
We're hungry. Will you come feed us? Which they've already had plenty of treats today. <laughs> oh yeah, the girls, I... Kaya and uh, oh, our niece. Uh, we had our niece and nephew stayed the night last night, and uh, Kaya and our niece came out, and they already fed some treats to the girls. Rachel came out this morning to check on them. Caleb had been out on his own. It, it, it's just. I had a whole pocket full of treats they got. Yeah. So they're. <laughs> we'll have to be careful on that. Yeah. So that's one thing with um, any kind of equine, you can't, you don't want to feed them too much grain or treats or stuff like that. Now it'd be hard to give them too many treats, but uh, see, she's a little bit, she's a little bit shy. It is Coco. You could, you could hug her all day long, and she don't, she don't worry about it. Now if I walk over here to Edda, we're still trying to work with her. She's just a little bashful. So she, She'll get adjusted. She will. When I had the pocket full of treats this morning, she wasn't. I ain't gonna hurt you, girl. But see, Coco, she ain't worried at all. Which one of them? Rachel looked out here a while ago, and one of them was rolling around with her feet in there. Which one was that? Coco? I don't remember. Coco's got dust on her back like she's been taking a dust bath. I don't remember which one was rolling. It was so funny. <laughs> They're gonna share a food bucket because I'm too close to edit. Yeah. All right, here, I'll back up, give you girls some space. So I think the key is using the treats. You think? Yep. We'll get them adjusted. They're still, they're still getting used to us. <coughs> Smeagol. <coughs> the only one that they've kind of been a little hesitant around is Skeeter. Yeah. They said, man, that little dog looks kind of like us, but a mini, mini micro version. Nothing else has really startled them. Even the dogs, even Cora going crazy through yeah. the fence. It didn't even phase them. They never flinched, but Skeeter come out here and they were like, uh, what is that? <laughs> and and that's kind of goes back to what we were looking for in mini donkeys. We've been looking for a while now. I've been trying to find just the ones just right that would fit our form. You know, there's tons and tons for sale, but I'm trying to be really picky on this. And it was just a miracle that it happened to be like less than 10 miles from our house where we found this, these two girls. Not very far. But one, one cool thing about it is the farm they came from actually had many different species of animals. Um, they had alpacas, they had a mini mule, they had mini ponies, horses, they had some pot belly pigs, chickens, and better yet, they had like three or four great pyrenees and uh some mixed anatolian dogs so these goat or these donkeys they're used to goats sheep and better yet the dogs so and pigs and pigs the dogs barking and stuff like rachel said they were right here next to them the donkeys are really curious they didn't scare them now smeagol just scared them Smeagol. Smeagol, there's nothing in that bucket, buddy. Look at him. You're such a mess. Get down. Quit being so nosy. Uh, he thinks he wants to ride one. Yeah. Can we get him a saddle? No. <laughs> He's not allowed to ride the donkey. Oh, no. But anyways, to give you guys the full report, so far so good, I like to say. Uh, they're working out wonderful. Like I said, we ordered the halters that'll go around their head, and uh, we don't. You don't want. We're not going to leave them on there full time or nothing. We're just going to come out here and try to get them trained to allow us to put them on there. And if we ever want to take them on a field trip or anything, we can lead them with the leash, and uh, hopefully it'll make them easier to load into a trailer if we need to take them to a vet or whatever reason. It just it's that much better so we got a couple things to work on but that's part of it that's part of uh, having any kind of animal is uh kind of training them up how you you want them to be but they're pretty girls they're they're very good attitudes we just got to work on the gray one etta from being a little shy but that's fine she we're new to her um you know i didn't see her shy one time at her previous owners he, he was, you know, petting her all the time and all kinds of stuff. She came right up to him. And like Rachel said this morning, she came out with those treats and I was watching her from the back porch. And she wasn't being shy at all. Yep. Coco's been in the dirt. Look. Yep. That's how they keep the bugs off of them. <laughs> she likes snuggles. She don't mind them. She does like snuggles. And I showed you guys... We got their little uh, mini 
donkey shed over here for now this is a this is their temporary housing which they fit in here just fine i don't know if you guys can tell but they can actually you can fit a couple more in here no bigger than these mini donkeys are they got their hay feeder with the square bell in it and their bedding they have straw so uh got that going um i think i am going to get online with rachel's help and try to come up with some designs on some some type of a barn for these mini donkeys and uh, maybe we might try to build a new barn have another project coming here soon we'll see but for now this little mini shed should work pretty good well they not only have that shed they have that shed over there yeah that's a bigger shed that one's big but it's not the prettiest but it does work it. it needs a, a little tlc yep. um yeah, I'm excited to start a new project. Yeah. So I don't want to just, I want to kind of take my time. I'm, I'm very impatient when it comes to things and I always just want to jump to it and get it done. But I want to try to take my time and research this and uh, try to do a good project on some type of barn, make it look nice, make it very functional and uh, something that will work out great if we want to expand on the mini donkeys in the future. Well, and even for multi-species sure you know you just we're very versatile here you never know what we might try and we love all the farm animals but not everything works out for us so we like to try different things and yeah and so what we're what she's saying is we're going to try to build something that you know maybe one day we don't have the many donkeys anymore but we have more goats or whatever It'll function for any kind right. of species, not just the mini donkeys. But. No more chickens, though. No more chickens. We got tons of chickens. We need to downsize the no chickens. No more, no more geese. No more chickens. We did completely get rid of the ducks. What about an emu? We are working on uh, getting an additional emu. I'm actually talking to Marie with Random Oaky Farms. I need to get back with her. Yeah, we got a lot of, of comments said to reach out to her, and it's funny because Rachel had already been talking to her, and she's been trying to help us look for some emus and that's so. where our emus originally came from yep. that's where brandon with eddie farms um got the emus so we can't get any emus from marie because they would be um what do you call it kin or whatever Family, related yeah. so but she has been in this exotic uh she's got animal a lot of world for 20 like 20 years at least so she's got lots of contacts and and i've kind of told her my concerns and she's going to help me out so i appreciate that all right girls we'll let you eat i got a bunch of hungry other hungry mouse to feed and i really want to pet you real quick girl hey look at there see that ain't hurting you that ain't hurting you pretty girl so looky there just a little work every day, right? Their their personalities will start showing through more and more the the longer that they're here and the more comfortable they get. Yeah. But okay. that's good. I that's love, good a little at a time. I love equine and I always wanted to have horses. Are donkeys considered equine? I believe I don't know, I'll have to Google it. I think so. I know nothing about donkeys, but We're fixing if water. you're a, if you're a horse person I don't know. I grew up with horses and the smell of a horse is just, there's something about the smell of a horse and these donkeys smell like that. So it just, it's <laughs> nostalgic for me. It, it calms me. It brings back, you know, just a calmness. And I love that. I could just sit here and snuggle with them all day. Now one little secret is Rachel and Kaya has begged me and begged me for years to get a mini pony and I said absolutely not. We stayed away from the mini ponies but now we got the next best thing which I think we'll be I think we'll be just as happy with these. What do you think? I love them. I, I told Kevin yesterday I said I am in love. I am in love with the mini donkeys. <laughs> they are cute. I just I'm so excited to have them. And, you know, when you experience um, a hard, hard, hard uh, year, it's, it's wonderful to get something that is new on the farm and that you can put time and energy and, and focus into. I think it'll make for, uh, I think it'll help make for some good content for YouTube, kind of give us a different kind of 
animal to talk about and uh, for me i like learning and like i said i know nothing about these donkeys so me and rachel have a lot of learning to do so we're gonna go uh we're gonna get go grab some more feed buckets and uh we got some patient dogs look at this these dogs these dogs have come so far they're doing so wonderful look at them they know it's feeding time and they're not sitting there jumping and yelling and barking they're sitting there patiently waiting because they know hey dad's gonna feed us he goes and feeds old man mojo first and he'll come and see to us so that's cool that these dogs are doing so well all right and i want to make clear you know kevin kevin says you know it makes for good content but when we go to get animals usually we are doing that because that's what's best for our farm it's not necessarily just for youtube content <laughs> So we, we, we spend a lot of time researching, thinking about what animals we want to add to the farm. We don't do anything just off of a whim uh, and things like that. So we are very responsible at seeing what we want to add, making sure it's the best for our farm and our family situation because that's priority basically. All right, girls, we're going to let you be. Girls are waiting on you. They, they, they look, like they match I, your boots. They like when I feed. They say, hey, look at mom's boots. They got chickens on them. That's funny. They love my boots. Okay, Red, move back. Nancy. Well, it's starting to get a little windy today. They like when I feed them because I always. Yeah, you waste it. I do. It's not wasted. It's wasted. It's going to my girls. Yeah. They're eating it. Here, you carry the bucket. Here, you carry. Trade me. Mojo's food. Oh. All right, where's Mr. Mojo? Huh? I don't know. He was out in the field a while ago, in the shade. Yeah, he was been out in the field all morning, but now the sun's up and he's probably hiding. He's under the cedar tree for all time. He usually comes peeks around the corner of the house about now, when, because he knows when we're coming with feed. Because the dog or the goats, there he comes. Look, he knew. Whenever the geese and the goats start. Oh boy, I can smell that. Mom's got the good stuff in the food bowl. Oh, I'm so hungry. What do you got there for me today? You got me a fresh egg. I got your goodies. Okay, I'm gonna follow you, Mom. You got my food. I'm not going to get in no hurry today. Mojo, what you been doing, buddy? I seen you out here digging all ago by the hay bale. What's that about? He, oh, I was just pretending I was a puppy again. He's been loving uh, all the attention he's got the last couple yes, of Yes, he has. Let me get the gate for you, sir. Thank you. Oh, I gotta get past these goats. We got a straggler coming along. <laughs> Snowball, you're such a pain. <laughs> He's telling you, no, look. Give me a hug. <laughs> I don't know what that was. That was a... Uh... Stop! Don't touch me! Pretty much. Let me do it! I'm pretty sure that's how he sounds. <laughs> we should have named him Stuart. <laughs> it was pretty fitting. You're quite the character, aren't you, Mr. Emu? Mr. Yoshi. Come here, geese. <laughs> you guys are around. Yeah, you guys always got a lot to say, don't you? Mad or what? Um, Super. <laughs> at least, at least most of our birds get along. Uh, the thing is, they're they're oh, loud. Said, they're loud birds, but they are only loud like if we come out here to yep. feed, 
and it, when I drive up, and I put a reel of this on our Facebook, when I drive up from dropping the kids off at school and I'm coming back home, they greet me at the gate up here and run with my car the whole way talking to me. Mama's home, mama's home, mama's home. It is so funny. They are like in a little alarm system for sure. They are. If any car pulls up, they set sound the alarm. Look, Yoshi said, I'm just one of the geese today. Look how he sat down with them when they came over there. It's funny. <laughs> I guess so. I didn't get the timer out. <laughs> we didn't weigh the food and we didn't get the timer out. So I don't know who's going to win. <laughs> That's funny. Mo, well, how's that food, buddy? No, 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 I'll get back with you later, Dad. My mouth's full. The two came. Okay, so we got all the water and everything filled up. And one nice thing about fall is we can always count on the girls to give us an abundance of fresh eggs. Like you see, we have a, a bunch in our refrigerator in the house, so these will go into the refrigerator in the shop and uh, resupply our dogs. Food with uh, fresh eggs. We always give them, as you guys know, an egg or two just about every time we feed. And uh, the dogs look forward to it. They love that extra protein. Nice cool egg straight from the refrigerator. So uh, let's grab some more food and go see how Court and Leesky are doing. Like I showed you all ago, they were patiently waiting on us. Girls, see they act like they haven't been fed. They already ate all the food over there. They ate all the food you dumped them. Now they're acting like nobody's fed them. This is dessert. <laughs> yeah, for the 10th time. Where's the donkey girls? Hey, weren't you just bragging on that whole bucket of eggs? Okay. <laughs> you got me there. Yep. Look, the donkeys and the goats are talking again. Yep. For us. Hey, what the you got? <gasps> what the heck? What is that? I think it's a coon. Please, what do you got, buddy? Is that a coon? Yep. Are you sure? Yep. He's uh -oh. drowning. Come here. All right. So, uh, uh, that's interesting. When did he? <laughs> I don't know. But... She's telling. Yeah. Is it fresh? Like, did he get it while we were feeding? I don't know. Good boy. Good boy. What the table. heck? Um. I'm gonna try to grab it from him. I was just gonna suggest that. Yeah. Good boy. What do you got here? Oh no, I don't know. I know. Oh, yeah. hey, Good he, boy. He just got it. Are you serious? Yeah. It's it's not even it's still uh warm. Like I can tell What in the world? Good boy, come here, good boy. Well those, are, those don't belong on the farm, do they? Good boy, look at him. I think the donkeys helped with that one maybe. Did they? I don't know. Girls, please you just saved your life. Here. Come get this camera. Hold on, let me get a picture. At least you want this picture taken with this cup. With his harvest? Please what do you call smile. it? Smile. Please be smile. <laughs> Good boy. All right, I don't want to show that too close up on YouTube. Well, I want to come look at it. Go ahead. I'm going to go get their food real quick. At probably not going to eat because... That's a big one. Yeah. Yeah, we'll let him keep it, I guess. I had a pet coon as a kid. <laughs> yeah, I loved cool. it. But not if you have... Mom, um, he says, Mom, look what I got. I know, good girl, he said, good I already, He said, I saved the donkeys on their first you night of the You did, you saved all the animals. You saved them all. Good job. Good job. Good job. Who, good I don't job. know which one actually got the coon, but... uh. Leesky's claiming it. Of course he's gonna claim it. Good job, Leesky man. Hey. <laughs> All right, enough of that. Let's go get their food. I don't know if they're gonna eat or not, but they're more interested in the predator over there. 
And yes, those are, a lot of people will say that's a, just a nice little friendly raccoon, but when you're on a farm, these, uh, these guys will wipe you out on your, uh, on your poultry, mainly the chickens and stuff like that. They will come and, feed. yeah, and they, they take a lot of your livestock's feed. So if you leave a feed out, like they wiped out our hog feeder. Yeah. Back when we had the hogs in that feeder, they would come every night. There would be like nine or 10, 12 of them. And they would eat until they couldn't even hardly walk. All the hog feed. <laughs> he's, I think he's going to eat that thing. He's telling the goats to uh, stay away from it. He's like this, I protected you guys from this. You need to stay away from it. Hey, go back in here and stand over here real quick. There's a goat going to eat his food. Come here, Mr. Leesky. Probably shouldn't have dumped it in there yet. Well, I didn't think about it. It's fine. Leesky. Come here, Lise. Come here and eat. He said, I'm not giving this up. I'm going to make this a snack, I think. Well, anyways. Yeah, so you just never know where, like I say, guys, you never know where our videos are going to turn. Uh, what in the world? We, we didn't even see that, but I went over there and kicked it, and it just, it's, it's still, uh, it just happened. I'm not I'm trying to be kind of easy with the wording. Uh, so anyways, um, yeah, Blisky saved the day. I don't know, was that raccoon trying to get to the donkeys or what? You guys owe, you, you guys owe Blisky a, a hug, how about that? Hey, Miss Etta. Hey, Miss Coco. Pretty girls. I don't have no treats. You ate them all already, girls. You guys got fresh water over there. You girls are pretty. Yeah, you're very pretty. Everybody loves you. So you guys are a great addition to the farm. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A little update on the donkeys. Mini donkeys. And then now at least he's uh, saved the day, I guess you could say. So guys, don't forget about the high C boots. One nice thing about these are they are 100% waterproof. I got some feet on them, whatever else. Come over here, not to wash them off at the end of the day. And my feet will still stay warm and dry 100%. And don't forget, if you guys are interested in your very own high C boots, they have many different ones to choose from. Make sure to check out the link in the description below and uh, use code HHF15 for 15% 15 off anything on the website. And the code never runs out, so it should work forever. So Liski is going to protect his predator and uh, Cora is going to eat the food. So, all right, we're signing off. Signing right, off. I'll let you in the video since this is the first video you've been in in a long time. Oh, a whole video. A whole video. Oh gosh. You and Cora can do it. She's eating. Hers eating. Okay, then it just leaves you. <laughs> you put me on the spot. No, thank you guys. I appreciate everybody stopping in to Hidden Heights Farm Family. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Give us a thumbs up and leave a comment below. And like Kevin said, check out the high C boots. They are excellent boots. The only boots that we wear here on the farm as far as farm protection for your feet. So again, oh, see, I get distracted too easy. <laughs> I can't even close the video out. No. Anyway, thank you guys. We appreciate each and every one of you. We love you guys. See you on the next video. See you guys. Look at Mr. Pride over there. Look how proud I am. He's excited. He should be proud. Very good job, Leesky man. He's doing his job. <laughs>